Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Save me, please. I haven't done anything wrong. You appeal to the judge desperately through an interpreter in a court. But your appeal does not get through to the judge at all. You are a foreigner and cannot speak the language, so you cannot communicate with the judge directly. In spite of the unfair situation, legal procedures will keep going on. If you are brought to justice in a foreign country and your voice is silenced like this, can you endure this situation? Actually, the same problem is happening in Japanese courts at present. So, today, I am standing here to share my opinion about court interpreters and suggest a way to provide a bridge of justice to the foreigners in Japan. I got to know the existence of a court interpreter when I went to a court hearing. At first, I was impressed that Japan made such a system which protects human rights of foreigners living in Japan. However, it became clear that it does nothing like a system which protects human rights. To start with, I will explain about the court interpreter. When a foreigner is brought to justice in Japan, what is needed is an interpreter in legal procedures, while the court interpreters translate legal procedures from Japanese into foreign language. They translate the accused person's statement into Japanese. Of course, the knowledge of terms is essential to them. Therefore, a court interpreter needs sufficient language skills. Now in Japan, court interpreters play an important role. Through an active international exchange, the number of the accused foreigners in Japan has increased by six times in the last 20 years. Actually, one out of 18 accused foreigners needs an interpreter in a court. The necessity of a court interpreter is increasing in Japan. Then, where is the problem with human rights? The problem is that all the court interpreters do not have the language ability to work in the Japanese courts. Practically, quite a few court interpreters cannot deal with daily conversations. In spite of low language proficiency, they are officially serving as court interpreters. Actually, mistranslations in legal procedures occur many times. Moreover, some of these cases have influenced the final judgment. I will give you the latest case. A woman of German nationality was brought to justice in Osaka last year. The court elected two court interpreters. However, after the judgment, it became clear that there were lots of mistranslations. Over 65% of the accused foreign statements were misunderstood. So, she maintained her innocence to the end. She was found guilty. To this point, her lawyer demanded the court for retrial. In this way, a court interpreter can take away the right to ask for fair justice from the accused foreigner. This problem has occurred because there are no standard steps for the election of court interpreters. Surprisingly, most of those who apply to and are interviewed by the court can work as court interpreters in Japan. People can be court interpreters without any proof of having language skills. Therefore, their language proficiency is not systematically controlled. And consequently, the quality of court interpreters' professional skills has not been guaranteed. 
if you are neglected by the nation just because you cannot communicate in the language. How would you feel? I want Japan to stop being a country like that. I strongly hope that Japan will become a country where all the human rights are fully protected, regardless of one's nationality or native language. So, to achieve full protection of human rights, I suggest setting up a qualification system for a court interpreter. It means the court prescribes the standard for the required ability and administers an examination. And finally, the court will elect only those who pass the examination to be a court interpreter. This way, a court interpreter can be assured to have the standard level of the knowledge in language. Therefore, the court can ensure the standard quality of all the court interpreters in Japan. Contrary to Japan, European nations and America have taken measures much earlier against the language barrier in legal procedures. For example, Denmark has already introduced a qualification system of court interpreters since 1994. It is a qualification system to the particular language used mainly in Danish courts, such as English, Spanish, French, German, and Italian. As a result, they were able to improve a quality of a court interpreter step by step. Now, it is our turn to change. A court of justice. This place must be fair to everybody. However, human rights have been violated in legal situations just because of the difference in language. I believe we must not leave this problem alone because this is a problem not only for the accused foreigners but also for our country. No matter what language one speaks, no matter what nationality one has. All people must be equal before the law. To realize fair justice, let us make a change in the current legal system so that we will build a strong bridge between justice and politeness. Thank you for listening. Yes, uh, thank you, Ms. Matsumoto. Thank you. Uh, have you heard your speech? It's very uh, shocking that when you said that um, all the court interpreters do not have any language ability to work in the Japanese court? Yes. How do you know? Uh, I research the court interpreter. Uh -huh. And I think that as I research in the court interpreter, I find this fact. So, uh, uh, okay, what kind of uh, website? What, did you check it on the website? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, who verified that? Because your message here is very, very strong. All the court interpreters do not have the language ability to work in the Japanese, because it's a really, really strong message, isn't it? Yes. You, do, you believe this? Yes. Okay, yes. if you do believe it, okay, it's okay. <laughs> If that's the case, I'd uh, suggest all the possible criminals in Japan never commit any <laughs> crimes. Otherwise, they'd be most, li most, most likely to be sentenced to death or just, uh, you know, they become guilty. Yeah? So it's a good message for you. from you to everybody. Here. Okay. Uh, why is there no established qualification system yet in Japan? Uh, but uh, just an interview. So how is the interview conducted? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how how's the interview conducted to you know hire the court interpreters? You said there's only one screen that is an interview. Mm -hmm. So how is that interview conducted? What is asked? What yeah, so what specifically? So, for example, mm -hmm. 
the quote, ask the people mm -hmm. whether you have an experience mm -hmm. to go abroad or not. It's, it is only this, this question. Is that, the, is that the only question that is, the, and, that is asked? Yes, and, and any proof of having language skills is not needed. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? If that's the case, I still can't believe that. But uh, do do they have any uh, seminars, training courses after uh, they're uh, judged uh, suitable for, <coughs> suitable for uh, uh, court interpretation? Seminars, uh, just training courses available for them? Now. Yeah, for them. Yeah, yes, now. Now, now actually, a seminar is held. Irregularly, but irregularly. Yes, but all court interpreters don't attend this seminar, so it is not enough to have a skill. Oh, is that right? It's really terrible. Now, uh, more specifically, um, well, how should the qualification system be? A, uh, what are needed to be included in the system if you are in a position? to establish a certain qualification procedure or system. What do you like to include in that screening? Aside from uh, interview, aside from what? Uh, qualification test. Because when you talk about testing, you know, like uh, TOEIC, you know, ACAM, they, are, they study just for the sake of studies. Yeah? When it comes to actual performance, actual implementation, it's a, I think it's in most cases another issue. So how do you Reinforce that system. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I want to do practical test. It is it is translate in this real situation and to practice kind of role play, role play, role play. And role play. Writing test. Okay, writing mm -hmm. test. What about the experience? Like uh, the possible interpreters should work uh, for a certain period of time at some lawyer's office. So should that be included? Sorry, and, uh, okay. Do you think so? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Time is up. So, that's okay. Thank you very much.